You can't be too rich, too thin, or have too many lights on your motorcycle. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome to another Cruise Man's Reviews. Uh, today we're going to talk about a new light for your helmet. It's like a safety item for your helmet called Break Free. And before we get started, I just wanted to let you know right up front, this video is not sponsored by Break Free. Um, however, they did send me this unit to test and review. And we're going to open up the package and take a look at what's inside and uh, see what this is all about. Now, about a year ago, I reviewed another light that mounted to the helmet. And um, it required that you actually wire something to the motorcycle so that it could pick up some signals, like when you hit the brakes and the turn signals. One of the nice things about this brake-free system is there's nothing to install. Just install the light on the helmet. So uh, before we get started, though, I would like to ask all of you, if you're passionate about motorcycles, you love motovlogs and product reviews and just anything to do with motorcycles, please take a second to click that subscribe button. It really will help our channel out. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. So anyway, let's tear into this package and see what we've got. Um, also, I found out about this through my contact over at Invoxia. Uh, the the uh, GPS tracker that I reviewed a while back. He is the one that made me aware of this product. I think they have some sort of a partnership. I'm not sure what the relationship is. Um, and so that's how I found out about this product. So we're going to open it up. You'll notice on the inside flap, I don't usually do unboxing videos, but I thought, what the heck, I'll do one today. Uh, it's got all of their social media uh, basically on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and then their email address. And the very first thing you see is it says, please read the quick start guide. Seriously, read the quick start guide. That's, I'm just reading it right off the thing. And then on the other side, this is an alignment tool. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's some lines on there. Okay, so here's the quick start guide right on top. I will read this, but let's tear into this package. Um, this is the actual light itself. I'll just pull this cardboard out of here. And this is your uh, break free uh, light assembly. So we'll take a look at that. And Underneath here, there are some other goodies, I think, yes. We have a USB cable. This is to charge this. This is a uh, this has a built-in rechargeable, I believe it's a lithium-ion battery, and it's supposed to last, I believe it's 8 to 10 hours if you leave it on all day. And then you can recharge it using this cable or any. This is a actually a micro SD or I'm sorry, micro USB cable, um, which you know I would prefer USB C because most of the things you buy nowadays are USB C, and I believe USB C does allow faster charging times, but I may be wrong about that. But nevertheless, it is micro USB. It's a standardized uh, connector that you can find. If you don't have this cable with you, you probably have a micro USB somewhere. And then uh, there's also a helmet mount here uh, with the 3M tape on the back. And that will mount on the back of the helmet. And then this light slips down over it. And they also give you an alcohol prep pad. So let's just set all these boxes off to the side. Another thing that Break Free has, which I think is kind of nice, is you can also purchase these um, additional helmet mounts, just like uh, this one here. So you can buy a pack of two of these inexpensively, so that if you're like me and you have multiple helmets, uh, depending on which helmet you're wearing that day, you can just take this off and move it to the next helmet. So that's pretty convenient. 
I like this mounting system better than the previous product I reviewed. I think you use some sort of a, it's not Velcro, it's like the, uh, like the heavy duty version, the plastic version. I can't remember what they call now, command something, I don't know. Anyway, it's a 3M product, but it's, it's a heavy, it's basically a hook and loop type fastener. And I like the idea of this, that it slides down over, you know, a piece like this. So let's read the quick start guide before we get started. And then we'll see kind of how this thing is supposed to work. The first thing it says is to test fit on the helmet, making sure that the mount is flat against the helmet for maximum adhesion. Okay, well I've got my HJC IS Max 2 helmet here. It's the one that I use when I motor vlog, as you can see. And uh, let's check out this mount. Which way does it go? I think it goes like this. Make sure that it will um, it does. It, it kind of fits the curvature of the helmet, and it appears, hmm, it, I'd say it fits pretty good. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say perfectly, but I think if we, you know, that, that 3M tape is kind of a foam, and it's kind of spongy. I think if I press on it and hold it in place, it will adhere to this helmet. And then I think we want to look at this, the light itself, and make sure it's going to fit back here. Uh, it, it appears that it will. If it would slip down, if I can get it past this ridge, there's a little, uh, like a, uh, oh, an accent ridge here. And then I've got my two vents. And so I've got to make sure that I can get this light over that ridge to connect to this mount. So maybe what I have to do is put this mount down a little bit lower. Um, when I'm riding, the helmet is kind of in this orientation right here. So as you can see, uh, let me just hold it up here, the light would pretty much be facing uh, more or less level. I don't think it'd be, per it might be aiming upward a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. So we're going to try, there's also another little uh, ridge down here. Uh, it's not a ridge, that's not the right word, but uh, another bend or, you know, molded in area that I have to stay above. So it's going to basically go right over this DOT sticker where that is. I'm going to have to go up a little bit. I'm just looking at it from the side to get it to adhere properly. It looks like I'm going to have to be about a half to three quarters of an inch above this ridge right here is what I'm guessing. Okay, now, they do have an alignment tool, and I could actually tape this to the, to the helmet so that we can get this aligned, and I could use this DOT sticker on the back of the helmet kind of as a way to center this alignment tool. So let's do that first. I'm going to get some masking tape, and we'll tape that alignment tool to the helmet. Just, you know, why not do it the way they say to do it? To. They say you can cut this with scissors. You know, it, it would make it a little smaller and easier. Yeah, let's do that, by the way. Okay, let's take a look at this again. Now, yeah, this fits much better now. I just want to make sure we're above that little ridge there. Just about like that right there. I'm going to center... I don't know if you can see, I'm going to center that line. There's a, a vertical line. I'm going to center that in the center of the O. And I'm going to tape this down on this side. But now I can pull this up if I need to so that I can remove that this is going to be square or at least thereabouts. So let's go ahead and tape it up here too just to get it like that. But I want to leave myself enough room so that I can remove this sticker, which is what I'm going to do now. And this helmet's about two and a half, three years old, so this sticker's kind of baked on here. So it's going to take some work to get off. 
fact, I probably need to heat it with a heat gun to get it off. It is really on there. I'm going to use this as a tool to try to get it off. Okay, I think I got all the sticker off. Now the question is, will this alcohol prep pad be enough to take off the old? There's still some residual adhesive here. I don't know if this alcohol will do it. I may have to go get some WD-40 first to get that adhesive off. We'll, we'll try this and see if it works. And it might, sometimes alcohol will take off that old adhesive. Old adhesive residue will come off really quick with WD-40, and then you can clean the WD-40 off. Just as a little tip, I'm just, again, I'm just too lazy to go out in the garage and get it. But basically, we have it off. I just used a little elbow grease, and now we have a good surface. And I'm gonna tape this down to the other side now, making sure it is square and now we have our alignment tool set on our helmet ready to mount this uh, little adhesive mount for the light my only concern is that once i get this on here actually it goes do i do it on upside down seriously i did i put the damn alignment tool on i'm an idiot i put it on upside down how do you how do you do that? Okay, I kind of know where all this stuff fits. I can see how much gap there is here on the ends. So I think I know where I am. I'm just gonna flip this over. What an idiot. Don't ever listen to me. Okay, it goes like this. Now let me center it up again. Fortunately, there is a little rib coming down the center of the helmet, so I can kind of see. Where the center is and line it up thusly. And that. And that is how it should look. Something along those lines. And it is, boy, it's, it's about dead on center. Okay, now let's see how this fits. That should go like that right there. And again, my only concern is once I get this mounted is that I can get this light over this little ridge here to slip down over this mount. But the only way to know is to do it. So let's just take this off and mount her up, see what happens. Okay. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball this thing, make sure it's centered where it needs to be. And it is centered and pretty level. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty good. So now I'm going to just, <clears throat> I'm going to mash on this and hold it for just uh, maybe a minute or two. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to read the rest of these instructions. It says here, after you apply this to the helmet, it needs to sit for a while before you ride, before you put this on and ride. Uh, you want to let this um, get good and adhered. And that takes, uh, it says 20 minutes, uh, gets to 90%, no, 90% after 24 hours and 100% after 72 hours. So. You, it, they recommend that you wait at least two hours after you attach this 
mount before you ride with the light on it. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this off. The alignment tool, I'm done with it. I want to save that alignment tool because I've got other helmets I'm going to maybe attach this to. So now let's see if I can get the light. And I'm going to continue to mash on this. It feels pretty secure. Let's see if this will fit if I can get it to go. Oh, yeah. Uh, is that right? Is that fitting? There we go. There's a click, but it still feels kind of loose. It, no, that's not right. Let's see. How does this fit in here? Push in and slide down. Oh, there we go. Now it clicked in place. Yeah. It still has a little bit of a wobble. It's not... The light is not fitting really flush with the helmet. There's a gap between the, the underside of the light and the helmet. So it's not like it's fitting tight against the helmet. But there's a lot of molded features in this helmet, so it could be why. So it is. it does wobble a little bit. And to get it out, you just kind of lift up on it and it pops out. So it's easy to install. You just press it down till it clicks. And so this is basically what it looks like right here. Okay, let's read the, the rest of these instructions. On the top of the unit is a mode light. Or actually, it's the on-off switch, too. So if you press it one time, it turns it on. Let's press it. Okay, so that turns it on. And you saw that little light flash. <clears throat> if that flashes three times, that means you have between 75% and 100% charge. If it only flashes twice, you have 35 to 75% charge. And if it only flashes once, you have less than 35%. Okay, so now what I'd like to find out is what the modes are. Does it tell me that anywhere? I don't see it anywhere on here. Because apparently if you tap this quickly, you get different modes. So I guess that means it just flashes all the time while you're riding. Then when you brake, this unit detects deceleration. So it has technology built in that when you're riding your motorcycle, it would look like this. But when you slow down, even, even uh, decelerating in gear, or you hit your brakes, it will detect that. And I believe these other lights come on and they might even flash a couple of times, like a modulator. And then there's another mode where I believe it looks like this when you're riding. And when you slow down, it just gets a little bit brighter. And to turn this off, you just press and hold it down until it turns off. And then to take it off, you just pop it up. So that's pretty easy. I'm looking forward to wearing this tomorrow when I go to coffee and I'll ride with it and see how that works out. Uh, the unit itself feels very solid. It feels very uh, durable. Uh, it's very, it feels very well made. It's completely weatherproof. And here is the little rubber flap that exposes the micro USB port where you do your recharging. So you basically take this off your helmet at night, stick it on the charger, and, of course, by the time you get up, it will charge. Now, I did do a test charge on this, and it took me about, to go from almost dead to fully charged, took me about three hours. So I'm not sure what they claim, but uh, it, it did take a while to charge, but uh, it will hold that charge for eight to ten hours. So that is the break-free uh, safety light for your helmet. Uh, I like the fact that there's nothing you have to wire into your bike. Uh, this has a built-in, um, 
I'm not sure if it's a potentiometer or what they call the technology that can detect that deceleration. But it's actually very cool technology so that when you hit the brakes, this either gets brighter or it begins flashing to get the attention of the riders behind or the uh, drivers behind you. I think it's a very, very cool safety feature. Um, I will put links in the description of this video of where you can order the brake free. And I'm going to wear it on the back of this helmet for a while, see how I like it and I will report back with more information. So thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Reviews. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel a bunch. And uh, don't forget to ride often, ride comfortable, and ride safe. See you next time.